Okay, good morning everyone and welcome to another uh, edition of Cool Marine Animals that I have seen. I'm Jesse Meckling, the Director of Education at the Center for Coastal Studies, and thank you for joining me uh, this morning. <clears throat> so this week's theme is, has no theme, it's just uh, sort of random animals that I have seen, cool animals. And today's species is going to be a species that uh, is very well known um, to most of us. I think many people out there have probably seen this, um, perhaps not in the wild, but in zoos or aquariums. They're quite uh, frequently found in uh, zoos and aquariums. Uh, just as a disclaimer, uh, all this, this for this program, all these animals that I have seen, um, I have seen in the wild. Um, I may have also seen them in zoos and aquariums, but all these animals I have seen in the wild. Um, and it's the same with this animal I, I've seen a couple times uh, off the coast of California. Um, they're animals that, uh, after nearly being hunted to extinction, have made a comeback, um, although they still um, are considered endangered. Uh, and they would definitely fall under uh, the categories of cute and cuddly and charismatic megafauna. And of course, I am speaking about the sea otter. So let's bring our presentation down. So uh, sea otters um, are one of 13 species of otters worldwide. Uh, we actually have a otter species on Cape Cod, a freshwater otter species on Cape Cod. Um, for those of you um, out there who didn't know. Um, uh, and most of otters, sea otters in the world live along the coast of uh, California, I'm uh, sorry, Alaska. 90% uh, of all sea otters live along the coast of Alaska. Um, they're one of the few mammal species to use tools. And as I mentioned, they're listed as endangered uh, by the IUCN. Uh, sea otters are found along the North Pacific coast of North America and Western Asia, as you see here. Um, but specifically, sea otters are found in nearshore waters um, in two areas of the Pacific, uh, Alaska um, and Russia, and near central California. Um, the sea otter population is thought to have once been between 150 and 300,000, uh, but beginning in the 18th century, they were uh, heavily hunted for their fur, uh, which is the um, finest fur of any mammal that we'll talk about. Um, and it was estimated that their population's numbers were down to only one to 2,000 animals. Um, you can see from this map that their range, their original range, um, actually extended all the way down into Baja in Mexico, um, all the way up to the North America coast, um, and even into the coast of Japan. Uh, and their current range is much smaller today. Sea otters live in coastal waters, um, 15 to 23 meters, 50 to 75 feet deep. Um, they usually don't travel much uh, far offshore, more than more than a kilometer offshore. They're very coastal air animals. Um, they are found in uh, protected um, parts of the coast, uh, protected from ocean winds, uh, with rocky coastlines, uh, thick kelp forests, and barrier reefs. So these are these are uh, animals that you're not going to find out at sea. Uh, they are the heaviest of all otter species. Um, <clears throat> they're not the longest, but they are the heaviest. There's an otter species that's actually longer. They are the heaviest. Male otters uh, can weigh uh, between 22 and 45 kilos or 49 to 99 pounds. Uh, females are smaller, weighing between 14 and 33 kilos or 31 to 71 pounds. Um, and they range in length from 1.2 to 1.5 meters, um, <clears throat> 3 feet 11 inches to 4 feet 11 inches. Um, and for females, one to 1.4 meters, so 3.3 feet to 4.7. So females are smaller. The, the largest otter uh, found weighed in at um, 54 kilos or, or 119 pounds. Uh, <clears throat> unlike most marine mammals and otters are marine mammals, uh, they don't have a layer of blubber. They do, ha however, have the thickest fur of all animals. Um, they have up to 100 50,000 strands of hair per, per square centimeter. Um, that is nearly 1, 000, 1, sorry, 1 million per square inch. Its fur is the dense of, densest of any animal and is the reason why they were hunted so extensively in the 18th and 19th centuries. Um, the fur consists of long waterproof guard hairs and short underfur. Uh, the guard hairs keep the dense fur, underfur layer dry and the cold water, because they're mostly found in cold water, Areas is kept completely away from the skin 
and heat loss is limited. Um, to keep their fur clean, which otters do quite often, they spend much of their time grooming. If you've seen otters in the wild or even in aquariums or zoos, you might have seen this. Um, they clean the fur, they untangle knots, they remove loose hair, um, and they rub the fur to squeeze out water and introduce air and even blow air into the fur. So fur for these animals is um, very important given um, the habitats which they live, which are uh, quite cold water climates. Um, sea otters are opportunistic feeders, um, meaning that they will eat whatever is easiest to catch. Um, they eat urchins, abalone, mussels, clams, crabs, snails, and about 40 other marine species. Um, sea otters, uh, as I mentioned, are one of the few species of mammals that have actually been recorded using tools. Um, they will use rocks when hunting um, to open hard shells. They'll grab a rock and bring the hard shell up, um, <clears throat> and they may pound uh, the shell like an abalone um, uh, on its check, uh, on its put it on its chest and hold a rock and pound it. Um, it hammers the the the, the shell. Um, and it has been observed um, doing this 45 times in 15 seconds. So they do this quite quick, quickly and rapidly. Um, as I mentioned, one of the few animals to, to use, one of the few mammals recorded using tools. Uh, sea otters have metabolic rates that are quite high, two to three times the size of comparable land animals, um, meaning that they have to constantly eat. Um, and it's estimated that they eat between 25 and 30% of their own body weight each day. Um, to burn calories um, necessary for the, the, the loss of heat in the cold water environment that they live in. Uh, they are diurnal, meaning they are active during the day and sleep at night. Um, one estimate I put of um, for, for humans, uh, comparably uh, eating 25% of your body weight, um, I read this um, using Subway for an individual that weighed 140 pounds would be eating uh, 76 six inch Subway sandwiches every day. So they eat a lot of food. Um, and uh, it's you know, many times when you see them, um, you'll see them um, trying to get in at shells with, with rocks or, um, or eating uh, with the food on their bellies. Um, otters can dive up to 330 feet, stay underwater for a few minutes um, while foraging for food. Um, females, female otters become sexually mature around three to four years of age and males around five. Uh, although I read that males uh, usually take longer to be successful breeders. Uh, births occur year round uh, with peak months of June, May and June in uh, northern populations and between January and March in southern populations. Um, gestation um, varies from four to 12 months. Um, <clears throat> because it's believed that the species is capable of delayed implantation, uh, meaning they can wait to um, impregnate, uh, followed by four months of pregnancy. So, um, so they're usually, they can um, mate, but the, uh, as in many seal species, um, the, the pregnancy is, is delayed. Um, sea otters usually breed, um, as I mentioned, every year um, in California, uh, but in, in Alaska, uh, every other year. And sea otter pups are born in the water um, and they begin swimming and nursing immediately. Um, and females would nurse their pups for up to eight months uh, during that time while teaching them to hunt. Uh, otters like to uh, stick together. Uh, so when they sleep, they will wrap themselves in seaweed and float together. This is called, um, a group of resting otters is called a raft. Uh, average lifespan of these animals is estimated between 10 and 15 years for males and 15 and 20, uh, 20 years for females, uh, with one uh, wild female living to be 23 years old. Uh, that's um, the maximum that they've observed in the wild. But there was a captive female um, uh, in an aquarium in Seattle who lived to be 28 years old. And one of the most amazing things about sea otters is that they are considered key, keystone species. Uh, keystone species are uh, species whose role and impact on the environment is, is greater than other species, um, particularly uh, because uh, otters help control sea urchins, which are major predators on kelp forests, and kelp forests are a major habitat for um, lots of marine animals on the west coast. Uh, sea, sea urchins can uh, overpopulate without the presence of otters, 
and devour, devour kelp forests. Um, these areas are known as um, urchin, bar urchin barrens um, and kelp forests uh, contain a high amount of biomass and are extremely productive um, uh, areas of uh, coastal ecosystems. And by maintaining uh, these healthy uh, kelp forests, sea otters uh, actually indirectly help to reduce levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide um, because kelp forests are a great sink for carbon dioxide. It, it absorbs and sequesters carbon. Uh, and I read one study that said a difference in annual absorption of atmospheric car carbon from kelp uh, photosynthesis uh, between a world with and a world without sea otters is somewhere between 13 and 43 billion um, kilograms of carbon. So sea otters not only are important for uh, maintaining healthy kelp uh, ecosystems, which other um, marine coastal marine species rely on for food and protection, uh, but they're also it play an important role in um, in helping maintain um, helping sequester carbon uh, and climate change. The biggest threat to otters is, of course, uh, comes from human threats. Um, there are direct uh, conflict with humans. Um, occasionally, otters are killed, although they're protected. Um, they do get entangled in fishing gear as well as being hit by uh, boats. Um, but oil spills, as what happened in uh, uh, the Exxon Valdez oil spill and pollution, um, are major are the major threats to these animals, as well as disease and the pot potential loss of kelp um, forests and their habitat. So that is all for today. Um, I want to thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning about these cool little creatures. Uh, I hope you will be back tomorrow. Oops, it's happening with my presentation. Computer is getting wonky there. So I hope you uh, enjoyed today's uh, talk about sea otters. I hope you can join me again tomorrow uh, for Friday's edition of Cool Marine Animals I've Seen. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy your rest of the day, and thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.